Well, it's nice to have you with us on the cafe. Chef Mark will be sharing the next steps to his baked pork spring rolls very shortly. So we parents work hard to cram everything in and it tends to stress us out. It really does, doesn't it? That feeling can bubble over and affect the way we deal with our loved ones. Our next guests say that learning how to better manage your stress is the biggest gift that you can give to your children. Welcome to the Coffee Group parenting experts, Dr. Chantal Hofze and Shirley Pasteroff. Good morning, guys. Morning. Good morning. Now, Shirley, let's start with you. Uh, so between us, we've got quite a few children we've just worked out. We've got five, two, three, a lot of kids. We're not hiding our stress from our children as well as we we think we are are we it affects him as well doesn't it yeah yeah it really does I mean I think maybe on a you know a good day when everything goes according to plan we can hide it quite well um, but not a lot of days happen like that when we have kids unless your kids are really different <laughs> to mine so on a normal day when we're busy and we're stressed and then that joins with their behavior maybe not listening not doing as they're told that's when we start to parent in ways we kind of promised ourselves we never would and how's it, how does it affect them well how it affects them is that they then are trying to function in an environment that's really got tension yeah. in it and that does um, things for their brain and things for our brain which means we find it really difficult to solve problems and really different difficult to keep connection and we do a lot of yelling um yep. well i know that yeah, I yeah. sometimes may be doing a little bit of yelling a little bit of raised voice chantal now tell me about the red brain green brain system what's that red brain green brain is is a way of looking at how the brain works that we've been working with for a couple of years now. Um, I wrote a mindfulness program to reduce, to help people reduce stress and together we've really adapted that for parenting. Um, red brain basically means that, like Shirley already explained, when days are not going perfectly, stress goes up and we call that red brain. Mm -hmm. And when we're in red brain, we find it hard to problem solve and to stay calm and we end up doing all sorts of things that we actually don't want to be doing as parents. Green brain is the opposite. Green brain is when we have low stress and when we're in green brain, we're just so much better able to cope with, you know, whining kids, teenagers that talk back, cups of teas that are knocked over. And it's not a big deal when we're not stressed, but when we are stressed, when, we're in, when we are in red brain, mm -hmm. even little things can push us over the edge. So how do we get ourselves into that green brain territory all of the time, or most of the time? Um, I mean, there's not one way. There's a lot of different ways that you can learn to manage stress. And from a parenting perspective, I think the biggest the biggest difference in, in, in our approach and, and how we've changed our own parenting is instead of trying to change our kids, uh, we've started working on lowering our own stress so that we are actually changing and as a result, the house changes, the dynamic change and, and problems become less. Is this working for you as well, Shirley? Yeah, I mean, for me, my road into this was really struggling as a parent. With like, five children, that's a yeah. lot of children. Well, it is a lot, but I feel like, you know, on the outside it looked good, but behind closed doors there was a lot of yelling there was a lot of crying I'm quite an emotional person and a lot of trying to solve the problems by changing my children's behavior when a couple of years ago I came across red brain green brain and started to practice it our home has changed but what's changed is my reactivity levels and as a result of me not reacting to their behavior in many ways their behavior hasn't changed a huge mm. amount but our house is a very different place it does make sense doesn't it so okay let's talk strategies what are some of the the coping mechanisms that we can use um, well, there are all sorts of different coping mechanisms depending on whether I'm having negative thoughts, whether I'm having raging emotions, or whether I'm just too busy. So those can involve things like simple as breathing, simple as connecting to my breath, recognizing when I'm being activated into anger, fear, sadness, and beginning to find ways to reduce those in myself mm -hmm. so that when my child reacts in a certain way that triggers me, I'm looking at my triggers first before I'm even thinking about what I'm doing. What's going on with them? Me. And a quick tip yeah. from you too, Chantel? Um, I think the, the, the best place to start is to get to know what your red brain is like and what your green brain is like okay. because everybody's different so we all have different triggers and what red brain is like for me is different um, as it is for Shirley and everybody's different but when you get to know your brain better when you get to know what red brain feels like for you uh, and what green brain feels like it becomes easier and easier to put things into place that Mim minimize the red brain days. And that's what we all want, isn't it? All minimizing the red brain is what it is all about. Great advice. Now, if you're in Auckland, you can see more of Chantal and Shirley at The Parenting Place. They run mindful parenting courses in Green Lane and St. Helier's. Thank you so much for coming in today, guys.